On day one, I had to get a basic snake game up and running. I started by adding the head of the snake to the 3JS scene. After that, I added tweening to the movement so it didn't feel so choppy. Eventually, I had a simple snake game up and running. Now it was time to add the main attraction, the portals. For this, I made a separate board class that would contain an array of portals. Every portal needs to have an entry and an exit node, so I store each portal as a pair. When the snake enters from one portal, it must exit from the corresponding pair. You can see it in action here. it was time to write some geolocal shaders to add to the material of the portal. I'm actually pretty bad at writing shaders, so I made this shader a couple of weeks ago, so I just wanted to port it to my game. Eventually, I actually just removed the shader and called it a day because it looked kind of creepy. On the second day, I knew I wanted to add more portals. For this, I had to refactor my code because previously I hard-coded it to work with just one portal. After a bit of finagling, I got something that looked pretty cool. And of course, the last thing we loved to do was to add snacks so that the snake would grow when it ate them. I do think there's a lot more work that could be done here and there's actually a ton of edge cases that I left out, but I'm pretty happy with this demo since it only took me about two days. You can actually play snakes and portals directly on my website, thegamedex.com, which I've linked in the description box. Just a little FYI, if the website is down or something is broken, then it's probably because I test my code straight in production. And yeah, that's it for this video. If you made it this far, I'd really appreciate it if you could just hit the like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.